Computer security, encryption is part of computer security, but encryption is far from being all of computer security. And there's lots of parts of computer security that are essentially outside the domain of cryptography. One of them is something called access control. So access control is a big part of how we uh, maintain the internet, how we keep it safe, how we make sure that it continues to function. And access control, you know, you can think of access control as involving systems that control or determine the answers to some of the following questions. So question number one, who can access a system? For example, if all the students in a certain class were allowed access to a particular server, that might be okay, that might be something that we wanted, but it might not be. That server might not be designed to be accessed by large numbers of people. So one aspect of access control is just determining who can get in and frequently how those people have to authenticate themselves. So what do they have to do to prove to you that they are who they say they are so that they can use resources on that system. For example, if I could get access to government computers or if I could get access to core internet routers and reconfigure them, that would be a problem. So a big part of access control is people, determining who can do what things on what machines. And there's a lot of complicated systems that go into answering those questions. The second question is, even if I can get access to a system, what capabilities of that system am I allowed to use? So I might give you an account. So for example, you might have an account on a shared computing system um, at school. And if you log into that account, hopefully if it's been configured properly, there's a lot of things that you cannot do. You can't access files that are owned by other people. That would allow you to read their email, uh, modify their submissions for assignments, you know, uh, cheat by play, copying their code or whatever. So well, does even well-designed shared computing systems have lots of safeguards to make sure that people can only do certain things. So even if I'm going to give you access to a system, I still want to be sure that I have lots of control over what you can do on that system. And it's really important, although it's also to some degree a security risk, that certain people have lots of power on a system. So a system administrator that might need to do certain tasks might need to basically be able to do almost anything on that particular computer system. There might be safeguards in place to make sure that they do those things safely, but usually there's a small group of people that have a lot of powers on a given computer system because they need to install software or they need to uh, fix problems that users might have. Those people might be able to do things like read your email. They might be able to modify your files and do all sorts of other stuff. So you need to make sure you trust those people and trust that they are doing the right things. In certain cases, you want to sort of audit their behavior, keep logs of what they're doing so that you can make sure that they're not doing things they shouldn't be. And finally, some of this comes down to what data do you have access to on a given system? So by impersonating another user on a shared uh, login system, I can get access to their information. But this would be equally problematic if I was able to log into Google Drive and see somebody else's documents. Or if there were bugs in certain you know, systems, like if I logged into Dropbox and suddenly I could see all the files that belong to another user. So those sorts of flaws or problems would be huge issues for the companies that maintain those systems. So, you know, part of computer security is this idea of cryptography and all the beautiful math that goes along with it, but access control really comes down to building good software systems and making sure that things are tracked and, and sort of built very carefully. Um, and, it, you know, who can access things, what can they do, and what sort of data do they have uh, access to?